Want to learn the fast and fun way to create gold text effects in Canva using the latest glow up version? Well, you're in the right spot. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button. Let's get into today's training. Okay, it's Pam Brosman here. Now I was going through my YouTube videos and I realized that it's been two years. I updated that to 2024 and then thought, you know what? That's the old version of Canva. The new version of Canva has changed completely. I've got to update this training. So let's go straight over to Canva, which is where this is the effect. You saw the thumbnail. I made the thumbnail using the strategy that I'm going to teach you right now. It's so much faster than the old way of doing it. And all you need to do is download one of the new apps in Canva. And I'm going to take you step by step through the whole process. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to find the background paper that you are wanting to use to add that gold effect. But I contacted Canva and yes, you can use the paper that is inside of Canva under Elements. So what I did is I went and searched for one. This one's from Canva. So if you want to go and find your own gold paper, sometimes there's only really good ones in Pro. So if you haven't got Canva Pro, you may want to try and make yours in AI art. And if you want me to show you how I made these, using AI art, just leave a comment below and I'll do a tutorial on how you can make your own gold background paper with AI art. But this one here came from Canva Elements. So all you need to do, and the reason why it's square is because that is the size of the app that we're gonna use. You can create any square canvas. I just use the Instagram one because that's automatically 1080 by 1080 because that is the shape you're gonna upload it to become the background of your text effect, all right? So just create a blank canvas and then you can go to elements and then type in gold background or gold paper and I'll try gold background and you can see what comes up. Now, if you only have the free version, then come down and only choose free and static and see what comes up. They've still got a few in here See, that's a nice sparkly one there. There's one there, there's one there. So just come through and find a gold background that you like. I liked this one, which was under Pro. And then I also tried some of my own AI art ones as well. All right, so now once you have found two or three that you want to test, then you have to download them because when you go to use the app to create the cold text effects, you have to upload the background. So just go share, download, and download them to your computer. I'm not going to do that now because I've already downloaded them, but you're going to need them on your computer to be able to upload them. If you already have your own AI art or your own uh, background, sometimes you can get some really nice ones from Creative Fabrica. I'll have the link to that below. Then you can directly upload whatever you have already. All right, so now that we know that we need to have our background effect, then whatever design where you're going to put it, I just created this because it was a template and it looked really, really cool for the thumbnail, then what you're going to do is you're going to create your page, whatever size it is that you're going to be putting your gold text on. This is an example of the one I made using my AI art as a background. I wanted it to be a little bit sparkly and it came out really, really cool. So what we're going to do is you need to go across and come down in the new version of Canva. You want to come down till you find the word that says apps. All right, so you want to be able to use one of the new apps to be able to do this quick and fast way to create gold text effects. So click on apps, and then you're gonna to want to discover, I've already downloaded it, but the one you're looking for is called Type Cutout. It has a C, and it looks like a frame, but it's called Type Cutout. So for the first time that you go to find it, just go to discover and type in the words Type Cutout. There we go. And then it comes up. So it's all one word, type, cut out, and that is the one you want. Now, I already have it. Once you click on it once, then the next time you want to go and use it, you can always find the ones that you've downloaded under your apps, okay? So this is the one that we're going to use. So then you click on it, 
And the first time you click on it, it's going to say, give them um, access to be able to use your Canva to upload the image that they create for you. Right, so you only have to do that once and then it's fine. Now, this is the part that I love the most. You can type whatever word you want. No more going and grabbing individual letter frames and having to drag them and drop them and move them around. No, no, no. You type whatever it is you want to say. So maybe you're going to, I'm going to do gold text effect. Okay, so that is the word that we are going to create, but you can do whatever you want. If you want it to go down the page, like I've done here, you can go like that. So whether you want to do a sentence or whether you're wanting the gold effect to go down the page, you can type it however you want. So I'm going to do it down the page just so that you can see it. Then you choose on the font that you want. So they've got a whole lot of fonts here. Just come and find one that you like. Usually when you're doing a gold font, thicker is better, so you really get the effect of the gold. But I was having a play with a signature as well. They've got some really nice fonts in here. Just have a look through and find one. But I tend to use Anton a lot because it's a nice thick font and it's easy to see the gold effect. So we'll start with that one. Okay, and then you go click back to fonts. And then, so now, you can change the line height. So at the moment, you can see that they're pretty close together. If you want the line height to be further apart, then you can just change it, all right? So you can change the line height, and then you come down here, and then what you want to do, this is where you have to go and get the background that you downloaded earlier. Remember this one where we got the background and we downloaded them onto our computer or use an existing one that you already have? This is where you're going to need to upload it to be able to see it automatically just puts this background on there. What we're doing is we're replacing. Now, if you want to see what it looks like on a lighter background, you can do it. But I find, especially with the gold text, you can have whatever background you want. It's not just for gold. You can put whatever background you want on this text. It's super, super cool. All right, so this is just the example for what we're going to add. So I'm going to go and choose my background, and I'm going to go to my downloads, and then you're going to see it saying uploading image, okay? And there you go, how amazing is that? It looks fantastic. So this image that I chose was one of the ones that I found in Canva Pro. So you can test the different images to see the effect that you like. The other thing that you can do is that if you want to move it around, then you can go start edit mode and you can make it a little bit bigger. So you can move it around like this, but obviously you want it to cover everything. If you need it to be a bit bigger, you can so I will go 0.18. Perfect. That covers all the letters and you can move it around to get whatever shine that you want. Then once you're happy with it, you go finish editing and then add to design. And then it goes automatically to your page. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So then you can Change it and add another word. If you want to have the same thing, so you want to have your signature and you want the same effect, then you just keep going back here. And I'm just going to go Pam Brosman. And then you don't have to upload it again. It's going to use the same image. And then I'm just going to go and find a nice signature font to put on it. Say so you wanted to create, I'm just going to use this one for the time being. And then see, look at that. That looks really, really cool. And you just go add to design. And then I can put my signature down here like that. All right, so it doesn't matter what the font is. And if you want, I'll give you another example. If you want that sort of glittery effect, then you choose a glittery background. So we're going to come back and we're going to choose another signature or another. we're going to choose another font, a nice different one, just so that you can see what the difference is. Let's see this one. This looks a bit 3D-ish. So we'll choose, look at this, this is nice. And then I'm um, going to choose another image. All right, and then you've got that, and then you say, yep, like that. Or if you want to move it around, go to edit mode. And if you want it to be a little bit more glittery, I might go 0 0.28, 0 0.28 to make it bigger. You know, if you want it to be more of the glittery, then you move up to wherever the image is on yours, and then I go like that. Finish editing, and that looks really cool, and then you add it to your design. All right, so then you've got more of a glittery one 
there, whatever background that you want. Now I'm going to finish off this tutorial showing you something really, really cool that you can do. Um, I'll use this one because it's the easiest. If you want to have sort of a glow effect on it, then you can click on the image and you can go edit and you can come to your shadows and put an outline on it. Come down here to that sort of a yellow, goldy, and you want the size, you want it probably to be a little bit brighter and you want the size to be just a little. See how it just gives it, and you can give it a little bit less intensity, but it makes it pop on the screen. So now you've got it lifting off the page, you've got that gold text effect, and it's super, super easy, and you can use it as many times as you want for as many words as you like. So I hope you found this how to create a gold text effects in Canva super, super easy to do. If you have a question, leave it below. And I look forward to seeing what you create with your gold text effects. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to go and check out my AI art, go to pambrosman.com forward slash AI art income. Have an amazing day. Bye.